My name's Marika, and I'm a Paralympic swimmer from Queensland, Australia. My Paralympic dream began when I was a small child and I saw the Olympics on television. I was captivated by all the athletes from around the world dressed up in their national costume competing for the chance to be the best in the world at their chosen sport. But my journey began a bit differently to most elite athletes. You see, for most of my life, I've used a wheelchair. When I was eight months old, I was involved in a car accident that left me a paraplegic, but it didn't take away my dream to swim for my country. When the doctors told my mum that I would never walk again, she decided to teach me to swim instead. And by the age of two, I could swim across the pool without any help. I never even needed a pair of floaties. When I was 13, I wrote a list of 100 goals that I wanted to achieve in my lifetime. Top of the list was win a medal for my country at the Paralympics. My other top goals were to graduate from university and to travel around the world. In 2004, I went to Athens for the Paralympic Games and was lucky enough to win two bronze medals. Six months before that, I graduated from university with my Bachelor of Social Science and went on to graduate with a Bachelor of Arts in Journalism and straight after the Games, I travelled around the world. I've never really looked upon my disability as an obstacle to overcome. I've always found that there's plenty of things you can do. In fact, there's not much you can't do, you just have to do it in a different way. It's hard work training for the Paralympics. Today we're going for a 20 kilometre ride. people ask me how many hours a day I spend training. And when I answer that there's two hours a session in the pool, that doesn't sound so bad. But it becomes a 24 hour a day commitment by the time you add in the massage appointments, the physio appointments, the stretching, the bike riding, the weights, the boxing, oh, and the ergometer. Even when I'm watching the TV, I'm still training. Now my swimming career has come to an end, I dream of being a journalist and reporting on the Paralympics. So pick me to cover the 2012 Paralympic Games for Channel 4. Thank you. My Paralympic dream began when I was a small child and I saw the opening ceremony of the Olympics on television. I knew I wanted to be there amongst the athletes wearing their national costumes and striving to be the best in the world. But my journey into elite sport was slightly different to many other athletes because since I was a small child, I've used a wheelchair. When I was just eight months old, I was involved in a car accident that left me a paraplegic but it didn't take away my opportunity to swim for my country. 
When the doctors told my mum that I would never walk again, she decided to teach me to swim instead. I've now competed in three Paralympic Games and the pinnacle of my career was winning a silver medal at the Beijing 2008 Paralympic Hi, my name's Marika and I'm a Paralympic swimmer from Queensland in Australia. My Paralympic dream began when I was a small child and I saw the opening ceremony of the Olympics on television. I was captivated by all the athletes wearing the national uniform and the idea of competing against the best athletes in the world. I wanted to be up there too, winning a medal of my own. What makes my story so different is that for most of my life I've used a wheelchair. When I was just eight months old, I was in a car accident that left me a paraplegic, but it didn't take away my dream to swim for my country. When the doctors told my mum I would never walk again, she decided to teach me to swim instead. By the time I was two, I could swim across the pool unaided. I never even needed floaties. By the time I was 13, I'd written a list of 100 goals I wanted to achieve in my lifetime. Top of the list was to win a medal at the Paralympics. Then there was graduate from university and travel around the world. I was lucky enough in 2004 to achieve these top three things all within six months. What an incredible experience. The events I compete in are 50 metres breaststroke and 150 metres individual medley. I've now competed at three Paralympics, Sydney 2000, Athens 2004 and Beijing 2008. The pinnacle of my career as an athlete was the Beijing Paralympics where I won a silver medal in the individual medley. When I was standing on the medal dais with the flowers in my hand and the medal around my neck, the flag rose over the swimming pool and I couldn't help but look, stand there and reflect back over the journey that had taken me so far from a child learning to swim to the, to the medal dais at the Paralympics. Training for the Paralympics is hard work. It takes 100% commitment. Often I get asked how many hours a day do you spend training? When I say two or three at a time, it doesn't sound so bad. But really, it's something that you're thinking about 24 hours a day. You have to watch what you eat, make sure you drink enough water, get enough recovery, have enough sleep. And on top of that, there's regular physio and massage appointments and daily stretches that have to be done. Then you throw in cross-training activities like hand cycling, boxing, weights, or working out on my ergometer, and there's a lot of time, to, time dedicated to achieving my dream. I love to challenge myself to achieve new things, whether it's in the pool or away from it. When I'm not competing, some of the things I've enjoyed have been skydiving, sit skiing and kayaking. Really, I'm just your regular young I'm just your regular young girl. I love fashion, shopping and hang out with my friends. After being an athlete for 10 years, I started to get involved in encouraging younger children to take up sport. And one of the saddest things was to see was children with so much potential unable to sh pursue their sporting dreams because they didn't have the funds to buy equipment like racing wheelchairs. After seeing this, a new dream was born for me to help other athletes and in 2008 I founded Sporting Dreams. Sporting Dreams is a fund that helps provide grants to athletes with disabilities to fund the cost of training, competition and equipment. Sporting Dreams was born after I won the Fun Fearless Female Awards hosted by Cosmopolitan magazine, which came with all the, tra all the trappings you'd expect of a glossy magazine competition. From the hair and the makeup from hair and makeup with the stylist right through to the red carpet and the photo shoots. It was an incredible experience, but nothing topped seeing the smiles on the faces of the young athletes who received a grant. Now, I've so now it's time to move on to something else, and my new dream is to be a television reporter for the London 2012 Paralympic Games. I hope you'll support me in my dream to become, the channel, to become a Channel 4 reporter for London 2012. Thank you.